let me take you through some tips and tricks that are going to make using Reflex a lot easier and faster. Now, all of these live on our tips and tricks page within Reflect Academy. You can just go to reflect.academy slash tips and tricks and find them. You can also find the page at the bottom of the sidebar. But I'll be going through all of these in this video. Now, to start with, you'll notice a lot of these are keyboard shortcuts. That's because Reflect is very keyboard shortcut heavy. In fact, if you didn't want to, you would never have to use the mouse to do anything in Reflect. You could only use the keyboard. So it can be useful to actually pull up all of the keyboard shortcuts. And you can pull up that menu by using the command and slash that pulls up this page here. I'd recommend reading through, finding a few that appeal to you, and learning them before moving on to learning others. If you do that slowly over time, you'll have a whole collection of them. You'll find the user experience just becomes much faster when you're note-taking. All right. So let's say we want to toggle this to-do list item into a check to-do list item and a bullet point, so on and so forth. So I can select anywhere in this line item, and I can hit Command-Enter, and you see that checks off the to-do list item. If I do that again, it turns it into a bullet point, and one more time, back to a to-do list item. And I can actually do this with multiple items, too. So if I highlight both of these and use the same command, it does the exact same top. And if I want to move this bullet point, I can hold down Option, and I can move it up and down, just using the Option plus up and down arrow keys. All right, so what if we want to paste a link in? Let's go and steal our link to the Tips and Tricks page here. There's two ways I can do it. I can highlight text and do Command and paste it into that box, enter, and I've got my link sitting in there. But I actually don't have to use the command K shortcut. I can just highlight the text, paste it directly in, get the same thing. All right, so what if we want to go into focus mode? Let's hit command shift. F. You see it eliminates the sidebars there. I now just have the note I'm working in. So this is my preferred way of writing or really, really focusing something where I genuinely just don't have any other distractions. All right, now let's talk about relative dates. So this is something that, oops, I missed a word here. Uh, with, thanks. This is something that I didn't know about first to reflect. It took me a few weeks to get. So let me first pull up the search here using Command K. That is the exact same shortcut as the, pull up the link, but if we don't have any text selected, it's just going to pull up the search here. Now, I can search things like today. You see it says May 8th there. I can search tomorrow. It has May 9th. I can do three days from now. It has May 11th. And I can do three days ago. It has May 5th. So you can write any of those. You don't have to give the exact date, and it will know what date you're talking about. We can also do this via by creating backlinks. So if I do a double bracket and type today, oops. You see, it just puts today's date in. And it will work the same way for, again, tomorrow, four days from now, et cetera, et cetera. All right. Now, toggling back and forth between pages using the command and the brackets, the open and close bracket. Button. So that's just like using forward and here I can go back. That was the last page I was on was my all notes page. If I go forward again, I'm back to my ticks and tips and tricks page. Well, that's the easiest way to toggle. I actually think this might be one of the most used shortcuts. So definitely get that one. It's by far the easiest way to toggle and forth between the pages. All right. Now, if you've already written text that you want to backlink, let's say we want to backlink this whole item. I can highlight that text and type a single open bracket. And it pulls up this box asking me if I want to create a note. I can either click on it or hit enter. You can see it adds a note. Now, this is a bonus one I don't have in my list, but it's one of my favorite ones. If you want to do a split screen uh, to a backlink here, we can just hit Command, Shift, and click on it. And it pulls up this page. And I can now work in this one, typing some things. And I can go back in here, type in some more things, and work out of both pages at the same time. All right. Now let's talk about creating aliases. So this is a good one for people you're really close with, for family members, best friends, where you want their full name to exist in your notes, but you don't want to refer to them by their full name because it feels kind of awkward. So a great example of this might be using 
your mother's name where you put her name in and then you put mom so that you can type mom. But let me do it with my name here, an example. So if I create a note, actually, I think I've already one created for this. Oops. If I type in a note for Samuel Clausen, let's do that one. I've already got one created. Let's go into this here. Here you can see I have an alias create. So it says Samuel Clausen, and then I use the double slash and put Sam. So that means that if I go back here, I can also Sam, and it appears the exact same page. So these two backlinks go to the exact same page. Now, let's say that I had another note that said Sam. So now if I oops, go to my tips and tricks page, if I now type Sam, you can see that there's two notes. And I don't like that. So if I go back to this second one here and I click, you can now see that it has a different note than this Sam, even though it's referring to the same person. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this exact title. I'm going to go back into this new one. And I'm going to paste that in. Now what happens is that as soon as this note has the same subject line as the other one, it gives me this note Ask me if I want to merge it. And since this is the same person, I want to say yes. Now, that other note that I just created didn't have any information in it. If it did, it would just add them all in here. And now, when I go back to my tips and tricks page, I can once again type Sam, and I only have one. There we go. Delete those out of there just to keep it. All right, so that's aliases, aliases and also notes. All right, so the last one is indent to tab. So let's say that I want to take this item and let me make a to-do list underneath it. Even though it's a to-do list item, I can just put a line item underneath it there and I'll add it as bullet. And let me just call it thing one. And underneath it, let's say I want to do thing two, I can just hit tab and write it underneath there. I can also infinitely indent. So I can keep going in. And if I want to take it back out, I can just hold down shift and hit tab again. And it goes out. It's something that feels small, but so much of note taking is lists. And Reflect has fantastic list performance. So it works a lot better than a lot of other note taking tools where you find yourself trying to make an outline like this and things get messy and just don't behave how you want them to. So those are some tips and tricks to get you moving faster in Reflect. Again, definitely explore all of the keyboard shortcuts on the shortcut menu. There's obviously a lot here that I didn't cover, but I think this is a good starting point. If you're just starting to use Reflect or maybe you've been using it for a while and there's a few here you've missed, go in, give them a try, and I think you'll find that it makes the experience just so much faster and so much easier.